Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John McCarthy, and I'm giving you all of the welcomes for joining us today here at this event, brought to you by the TGC Network. We are prepped and ready, folks. This is the final round coverage of our uh, first event of the season. Let's see how this story concludes. Okay, and about 205 yards to the pin. And here's a three iron. Fantastic work on this par five, hitting the green in two. Ooh, unfortunate. And this putt's for birdie. Yeah, that one's uh, right in the cup. And after that hole, one under for the day. And now let's see what the second hole has in store. Yeah, that's not what you want for your approach. Too much club. And now let's uh, take a look and see what's happening up on that leaderboard. And our score to beat is six under par. That's where our leader is. And now let's move to the third hole. Well, this one's looking pretty good. And about 125 yards to the pin. Here's a pitching wedge. And this is looking a bit long, I think. And he'll be happy with that. 14 feet away. Ooh, it looked close. It just didn't go. This looks like around a four footer, I'd say. And that one will drop. And he will move up on the leaderboard after that hole. Now this shot is above the hole. Let's see how they compensate. Going with the four iron here. Yeah, that's not very good as far as approach shots go. 
I'm not sure, but I think the wind might have had something to do with that. And this is to save par. Nice little putt. Currently setting out one under for the day. And now setting up for the par four tee off. Well, I'm pretty sure this is gonna land in the fairway here. And apologies to those folks at home. Uh, that shot actually ended up in the rough. This pot is for birdie. Oh my goodness, just missed. This one looks about uh, four feet. And that pot will go for par. And after that one, he has gone down in the standings. And team off on this par four. It appears to be heading for the fairway here. From about 135 yards out. Going with the nine iron. And not the greatest approach shot there. Didn't have enough club on that one. Tapping in for par. And the score to beat today, five under par for our leader. And now we find ourselves on the seventh hole tee off. Here's a nine iron. This one's looking good. All right, and now he's on. This one's about nine feet away. Ooh, I thought that was going to go. Okay, and now let's uh, take a peek and see what's happening on the leaderboard. And after that hole, one under for the day. And the wind could come into play on this one. I know some others have had some issues. Let's see how this tee shot goes. Well, this one could be either way, folks. I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be safe or not.
And from 165 yards out. And going with the seven iron on this one and heading for the green. And this is for birdie. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And it's six under for our leader today. Okay, and on to the ninth. And I'm not quite sure here. It could end up in the fairway though. From here, it's about 11 feet to the cup. And that one will drop for par. And currently sitting at two under for the day. And next up, we have a par five hole. This one's looking pretty good so far. And about 205 yards to go. Going with the four iron here. Well, that shot's looking not too good. That was a fantastic shot out of the sand, and I am thinking birdie for sure. And that one goes in for the bird. And our leader is sitting on top of the leaderboard with a round of six under par. And next up is a par four, folks. And he's probably not too happy about that one.
And now that that shot has ended up in the fairway, let's see what the next one holds. And about four feet from the cup. And that one will drop for par. And today currently sitting at three under par. Okay, moving on to the 12th. It's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. Very well played, and hitting this par 5 and 2 is going to set up some nice eagle opportunities here. And ladies and gentlemen, the eagle putt drops. And after that one, 5 under for the day. And he's tied for third place on the leaderboard. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Going with a pitching wedge here. Nothing wrong with that. From here, about 21 feet. And right into the cup. And sitting at six under for the day after that hole. And is currently tied for second place on the leaderboard. And now setting up for the next par four hole. And this shot's looking promising. And about 200 yards to the pin. I think that's the hybrid. And this putt is for birdie. Just missing here. And for the par.
and after that hole, staying fast in the second place on the leaderboard. And this shot is setting up above the hole, so we'll see what happens here. Going with the pitching wedge here. And I think he'll like that from 24 feet away. And this one's about three feet from the cup. And after that hole, staying right there in second place. And now setting up for the par four. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. And a buck 90 out here. This is the three iron, I believe. Looks like this is going a bit long. And not the best approach shot. Bit too much club on that. And this is about a four footer. And that one will drop. And he's going to stay right there where he was on the leaderboard. No change in the ranking. And let's see what the 17th has in store. Going with the hybrid here. And this for the birdie. And a decent putt. Okay, and still holding steady in second place after that hole. And now teeing up for the final hole of the round. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the rough.
and pretty sure he's going to like that. And this next putt for a 63 on the final round. And just a fantastic putt from that length. Forget about it. And with that putt, he will end the event tied for the top spot. Not a bad place to be, if you ask me. And folks, that's all she wrote for us here today. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.